Hey guys, and welcome to the Miss Kenna channel. My name is Halda, and today is the first day of my orientation. Um, sorry guys, there is like a fly or a bug in my room. Ugh, trying to get it out of here, but it keeps coming back. Anyways, so we're about to get started. Honestly, I think what's going on right now is that they're a little bit confused about the timing. I got the email saying that they will be starting at 10 Atlantic time or something like that, which should be 9, but it's 9.45 and they haven't started yet. So um, I'm over here just kind of chilling and relaxing. I ate my breakfast already, but I haven't had any coffee or um, any caffeinated drink at the moment. So I might go do that whilst I wait. So I hope everybody is doing well. I hope this week goes well for everybody. Oh, by the way, it's actually Tuesday and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Wait, today's not Tuesday, today's Wednesday, my bad. Today's Wednesday, September 8th. And literally tomorrow on Thursday on the 9th will be my first day. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to like have this video all in one because I don't think this is long enough to be a whole video of itself. So I'm just probably going to title this video the first week or whatever of medical school and it'll be part with the orientation and with the first day or I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do that. But I'll work it out somehow. I'm just going to say a couple of things. I think it's important that during orientation that you are dressed um, the way that you would if you were there, um, even if you are virtually. Um, it's so important to look and represent um, yourself as well as be appropriate. Um, like you don't want to be in your pajamas and at orientation, you never know if they're going to ask you guys to be um, on video if they'll like ask everybody to show your faces or whatever or introduce each other icebreakers whatever so you kind of just have to be prepared for anything so that's really why I got dressed today I'm even wearing um professional bottoms as well the only thing I'm not wearing is shoes um but literally you want to dress the way um that you would appear in person so I think I'm going to go ahead and make my coffee right about now um, before they get started. part is over and I think it was really informative um for me I took some notes like I took some notes here on my notepad um and I really really took notes on things that I did not know like I took notes on like the different professors um what um they were dean of um what they teach um I think what was really informative about this session was about the different clubs that are on campus and how you can get involved and what they basically have to offer students. Um, so I kind of know which clubs that I want to join, but of course, since I am doing everything virtually, I'm not sure how that's going to work. So I'm going to email um, the presidents and the vice um basically the student elected leaders of those clubs and find out how I can get involved even though I am virtual because literally in January I will be moving on campus and then I will get to be an active member or an active student on campus. So that is really it for this day and I will see you guys tomorrow when it's the official first day. So if you have not already, do give this video a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Anyways, you guys, it is Monday, September 9th. It is 7.37 a.m. My first class is at 8 a.m. sharp on the dot. Um, for those of you who are wondering, how am I streaming or Zooming with the different time zones? Apparently, I found out yesterday that the time there is the exact same time as now. 
So apparently, I think when daylight savings happens, things will change. Um, either they will be ahead of us by an hour or we'll, we will be ahead of us. When it gets there, I'll figure it out. But basically, one of our professors whom we had this morning for histology was sort of not getting things together for class. So I didn't have the opportunity to look over the syllabus. Um, the PowerPoint or nothing, just like I, but I was able to do that for my other classes because all my other classes, the professors released the information, um, I believe, um, two days ago. And then they finally put up everything yesterday, but this professor had it. So, yeah, it was just a little bit messed up because I couldn't look at everything before class. And I'm trying to do that right now before it starts. Um, yeah, I don't like doing things in a rush because some of these syllabuses are like 44 pages long. Yeah, you don't need to read anything. I'll do, um, I'm probably going to do a video on what you need to do before your actual first day of class. So what I'm doing right now is that I have the syllabus for the histology class right here that I printed out. So I'm just going to cross off what's happened and what the topic is supposed to be for today. So, um... Looks like today we are doing introduction to the course, preparation for histology sections, and we're talking about the cell, specifically the cell membrane. Um, so that's what it's look like. It's looking like we're doing in this class today. Um, uh, let me look at the PowerPoint real quickly. Okay, so it looks like the PowerPoint is only 54 slides. I'm saying only, but there's probably a, a lot of level of detail in this. Mm. And yes, I am fully dressed because like I said yesterday, I want to look like if I would if I was to be in actual class. Um, yeah, it's good to put your mindset that way. I don't think I would be in the study learning mood if there were candles in the back and my bed wasn't made and I was in my pajamas. Like, that wouldn't work out. So I prepare. I'm prepared to get ready and look like I'm ready every single day, even the weekends. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is what's going on right now. I've literally been sitting here and I'm like, you know what? It's only like 15 minutes before class starts. There's no way I'm going to be able to look at the material before then. So I'm just going to eat my breakfast, <laughs> my breakfast, because it's really early. I'm not an early breakfast eater. Um, so I just have this nature bar right here. Um, it's really a biscuit. It's a Nature Valley biscuit. This is with the peanut butter, but my favorite is the almond. And I have one more of this left in the box to get to the almond one. That's my favorite one. And then, of course, I have my cup of coffee. And I also have my water right there, too. So I'm ready, okay? I'm ready. And I'm going to signing into the Zoom, which will probably have a lot of the students chatting because... That's what we do best as students, right? We chat, we want to communicate, we want to talk to one another, especially I think we want to talk a little bit about the professor and how a, and how they did they were not able to do their job just a little bit. Like, you know, I don't know. I think they're going to criticize the professor, to be quite honest. But I mean, that's their business. I'm just going to sit here and close my mouth. I'm not saying nothing. All right. Literally, we're going to start 
um, anatomy and embryology soon. I think it starts at 10, but I need to make sure. Um, so now I'm going to be having anatomy and embryology from 10 to 12. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. Um, and then I should be back for class to start. <laughs> Class has been over for some time now. It's about 12. Um, it's like 12.40. But I'm just going to eat my lunch real quickly. I have some fruit here and then I made myself a sandwich. So I'm going to eat that real quickly before class starts because I don't have time. <laughs> oh my gosh. I also should be looking at one of the classes that um, is later on in the afternoon. Honestly, most of these classes in the afternoon I think are pretty doable. Um, one is the research class, uh, what is it called? Yeah, one is clinical correlations of basic sciences and the other is um, research in health and medicine. I know that I'm supposed to like have a project, um, which I already thought about. I just need to figure out who's going to be in my group and definitely research that is virtually friendly for sure. So I'm going to, I think when I was going over the slide, there was only two things that I need to write down. So I'm going to do that before class starts. <laughs> guys it is literally the last class of the day it is about to be it's about to be 3 um 3 p.m in six minutes and this is my last class i think it goes on till 5 p.m and then i'm done for my first day Woo! honestly just like i'm excited but a little bit nervous um this class really has to do with research we actually have to go and conduct research and it's hard when you're online and not in person but um we're kind of figuring out through the group chats and signing up on different group me's based on the different kind of research topics so i'm hoping we're able to figure it out should be having a meeting um today to discuss the kind of topics that we're interested in that will be later on in the evening oh my gosh so yeah literally five minutes till my last class of the day
been waiting here. It is almost 3 10 p.m. and the professor has not started. So I'm just gonna end the vlog here. If you have not already, please give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel if you are new. Topic. Oh. There they go. Or not. <laughs> Um, subscribe to this channel and of course let me know if you guys want me to post any specific video because sometimes like I have ideas of what to film but sometimes I don't so this is really helpful for the both of us. It's really helpful to me if I know what you guys like and what kind of videos are within my niche to um, post here on my channel. Does anyone so, know how to do the private messaging thing? I know it works with Zoom for other things, but I can't seem to mm -hmm. enable it for uh, this. Uh... So while we try to figure it out, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.